maybe lots of you know these tricks, but I'm gonna try to show them also as a reminder to myself. What I'm trying to show is how to achieve the subscript for the Q25 and the subscript for the Q2. Now, in order to achieve the subscript, we're gonna use the stacking option in AutoCAD. And in order to achieve the stacking option, we'll have to do the following thing for the Q25. In front of the 25, we're gonna add the 1 and a slash. Now we're gonna select the 1 slash 25. We're gonna right click and select stack. Now we have the Q1, the slash 25. Now what we want to use here and to show it's only the 25. So in order to achieve that, we're gonna select the 1 slash 25 here. We're gonna right click again. We're gonna go to stack properties. Once we get to the stack properties, we're gonna select the upper value here. I'm gonna delete it. Now, if you click OK here, you're gonna see that you still have the slash. So we're gonna right click again, stack properties, and here in the style, instead of the fraction horizontal, we're gonna choose decimal. When you click OK, you're gonna see that you have the Q and the subscript for 25. Now, in order to achieve the superscript for the Q2, we'll have to use the Shift 6 and insert the following symbol. Now we're gonna use again the stacking option. So we're gonna select the two in the symbol. We're gonna right click stack and you're gonna see that we have the superscript applied to the Q and 2. Now another thing to note is that you can achieve the stacking option for the subscript also if you type one slash a hundred and without selecting the one slash a hundred and right click stack if you go to the end of a hundred click and you hit the space bar you're gonna see that AutoCAD prompts you for the auto stack properties and you can choose here either to convert it to a diagonal fraction or to horizontal fraction I'll say convert to horizontal fraction and from here the workflow is the same stack properties delete the one and here choose decimal and here you go this is how you can use the subscript and the superscript I hope it helps